Pioneer Valley came up with a big win last week over Santa Inez, but tonight the challenge was even greater as they hosted Lompoc. Oh yeah, those Braves have won seven straight games. They could wrap up another Los Padres League title with a victory tonight. The man who always goes as the same thing as Halloween every year, Kevin the Roos, Roos, the Rooster, live in our Santa Maria Bureau. Where's your costume? I know. I sh I'm going as a news anchor, or a reporter tonight. Is that is, is it working? Is it look alright? Um, yeah, I was going to go as a rooster, but I, you know, I just ran out of time this week to go shopping for rooster outfits. So maybe next year. Stay tuned. Uh, hey guys, you know, Lompoc has just been clicking. The last five times they've played Pioneer Valley, they've won all of them. I guess no surprise there. But in the last six games this season for Lompoc, get this, they've scored no fewer than 42 points. Simply unbelievable. Um, well, could they do it again tonight? Possibly. It's senior night, and Pioneer Valley had other things in, on their mind. They were hoping to shut them down. Let's take you to the highlights, see how it turned out. Panthers coming in tonight looking for their third win in a row. They're pumped up. Braves even more pumped up. They're looking for their eighth win in a row. Jared Rodriguez, though, trying to silence the Braves early. First play of the game. Rodriguez going deep to Leonardo Partita. What a catch. 43 yards. Can you believe that on the first play? But they would turn the ball over on downs. Next possession. Toa Tawa getting the call. And he will take it down the sideline nearly 40 yards. He's spooky. That's how good he is. It's like a human highlight reel every time they give him the ball. Then the Panther D holding tough. Braves settling for a field goal. Javier De La Cueva's kick is up and good. Braves lead it 3-0. End of the first quarter, Torrey Sims finding Graydon Adams into the end zone, making it look easy. They would go for two, they would get it. Braves up 11 to nothing to end the first. Then it's Sims handing off to Ruben Cortez. He makes it look easy. Braves now make it 18 to nothing midway through the second quarter. A little bit later, Torrey Sims here gonna hook up with Richard Foster. Pick it up the ball and picking up some big yardage right there, moving the chains, taking on about four defenders right there. Moments later, Sims to who else? Why not go back to Tawa again as he stiff arms his way into the end zone? I think that's the L1 button on my PlayStation. Tawa puts the Braves up now 25 to nothing, and they're not done yet. Sims, a little bit later, gonna find Foster again into the end zone. That made it 32 to nothing at the half. No tricks tonight, all treats for Lompoc. They go on to get the win, 39 to nothing. All right, Lompoc can wrap up another undefeated Los Padres League uh, this season with a victory over Cabrillo next week. Their rivals, as for Pioneer Valley, well, they'll also take on a rival of their own, Rigetti. That's always a good one. Uh, so that'll be coming up next week. Guys, I'll have to uh, hit Amazon and uh, try to find a rooster costume for you, at least Please before do. the season's out or by next year. Uh, All right, Kevin. Can't wait to see that. myself, sending it back to you guys. And he's a gamer. I, I had no know. idea. He's awesome. Happy Halloween, Kevin. We'll stay in the LPL. St. Joe's hosting Cabrillo. Early on, fourth and goal. Joe Guzman denied at the one yard line, so the Conks keep the Knights off the scoreboard momentarily. St. Joe's defense put points on the board, though, with the safety. They tackle the ball carry in the end zone. Two Knights, two nothing Knights in the first quarter. Now the Knights offense would get into the end zone. Plenty in this one. Joe Guzman not going to be stopped this time. St. Joseph leads eight to nothing. All right, back on the attack. Blake Jake to the air this time. And it's Nate Guzman, and he's going to take it to the 16-yard line. Jake was going right back to number eight, Nate Guzman. Pretty nice move here as he goes down to the sidelines inside the five. Jake keeps it himself this time, slams up the middle for a St. Joe touchdown, 15 to nothing. Still in the first quarter, St. Joseph strikes again. Knights set up a beautiful screen. Jekylls dumps it to Mateo Becerra, who runs it 45 yards for a touchdown. 22-0 St. Joe's, and they roll 42-zip tonight. Knights are 2-1 in the Los Padres League. They play at San Ynez next Friday, and a win would give St. Joe's automatic playoff berth. All right, eight is great. Eight-man football action from Orchid. The Thatcher Toads on the road to face Orchid Academy. Toads up 6-0. Spartans getting physical. Jared Sutton and his buddies push back and take down the Toads. Jackson Carroll, Spartans offense, and throw the move. Jared Miller lost it up to Mitchell Carpenter. This guy looks like Rob Gronkowski out there. Look at big number 87. Rumbling down to the six-yard line, and it's Miller time as Jared Miller takes it in. 6-6 six, six is the score. All right. Picked us up late in the first quarter. Toads up 20 to 12. Miller 
going to fight through to make another touchdown for his team. And Orchid Academy going to go back on the attack after this. Second quarter now, 22-yard line. Spartans defense making sure the Toads, Zeon Alcindor, going nowhere. Toads up 20 to 14 at this point, but the Spartans have the ball on the 13-yard line. And Miller throws it to Cole Carpenter. Touchdown tied up at 20. This is a wild one. Thatcher, no offensive highlights we show you, but they win 60 <laughs> to 51. Take think, our word for it. I think it was an Orchid Academy alum who there covered that game. <laughs> All right. So Orchid Academy losing 60 to 51. Viewers on KCOI 12, we send you to the Late Show with Stephen Colbert. But we have much more highlights starting with Kemrio at Thousand Oaks. Stay with us.